Well, what can I say? Wow, what a day for uh, for crude oil um, here today. This is the current uh, situation. <laughs> Seen um, quite a large uh, long liquidation um, on today. I mean, we had this uh, clear B-shaped profile. Um, uh, some clear, like I said, long liquidating. We had this uh, this two-day balance. Um, for the last two days after the gap up on, on Friday and um, and uh, whoever was uh, trying to establish some uh, was establishing longs um, Friday and um, yesterday which was Monday and uh, it's potentially speculating on um, on the OPEC meeting on Thursday um, with potential cuts uh, for crude oil well I, I imagine they're feeling pretty sore today um, as uh, this is just some huge, um, as I said, uh, long liquidation and uh, just stops getting hit um, in the market today. I mean, we we were clearly we're clearly seeing this sort of one, two, three, four days of one time framing higher. So we see buyers stepping into the market. Uh, we see this, this two day accumulation here, and um, and we just see this domino effect of all the stops just getting hit. Uh, pretty much into these lows um, we didn't actually see this low getting taken out so we've left a triple bottom here now um, in the pit session uh, obviously expecting further downside here uh, potentially gap down tomorrow if not we're going to see some further balance in this area we we'll have to have to see what happens obviously Thursday is an important day we've got the inventory report tomorrow so um, we'll just have to, to see what happens here but I mean, as I've been saying this week um, to me um, the trend is still very much intact uh, for crude oil, and um, and uh, that was clearly proven today with uh, with um, with sellers showing up and uh, and longs having to liquidate um, any positions that they were holding. So, real interesting day. Um, opened inside day from yesterday. We just see this responsive buying off of the open. Very similar to yesterday. I mean, again, just to, to me, what I've seen here is just typical market making. Um, over the past two days, anyway, I mean, this was just clear liquid, uh, clear market making. Um, we just see uh, just just basically iceberg orders all the way up here, and um, just compression, sellers responsive, and just accumulation of, of sellers, and obviously with buyers getting suckered in um, in this two-day balance, uh, speculating higher prices. And today, again, off the open, we just see this. Off of the open, we see the market rotate higher. We see all these iceberg orders on the way up. Um, again, <coughs> we see this compression in the B period and uh, sort of took a, po a peak above the initial balance high and uh, we see all these uh, all these orders getting filled uh, to the sell side um, if I can find it two seconds so we had the open we had this we had just responsive buyers off of the open just market making um, then uh, we see like I said these iceberg orders all the way up and then we came into the to the next period and we see all these orders accumulating we see all these sellers basically just bidding any offers up here and uh, we see this clear delta divergence I mean, you can see that this was uh, 615 to the buy side and on this bar closed out minus uh, 754 to the sell side um, on cumulative delta and uh, Again, just the same thing happening on the second 15-minute uh, bar of C in the in the compression, and then we closed um, inside, and then finally just see this big flush down all the way to the lows, and just just carried on going. <laughs> and uh, so any, any buyers that have been, um, like I said, accumulating any any positions over the last two, three, four days, they got forced out of the market today. So um, pretty awesome day, um, pretty pretty awesome day here. I mean, spent. Just see this huge selling imbalance. I believe we dropped um, almost one percent in ten in, in ten minutes um, in one of these periods here. So some pr uh, just very very aggressive selling. Like I said, it just seemed like a, a lot of long liquidation and um, and sell stops getting hit from any buyers. Uh, that, like I said, have been accumulating um, in the markets um, over the last couple of days. On the higher time frames, uh, we've clearly accepted. Um, we clearly see very fast trade through uh, last week's value, <coughs> and um, off the opening you can just see this peak above last week's value. We came to the developing value area higher, and just again the edge of this uh, accumulation from last week, and then we just see this these sell programs coming into the market, and um, see some targets getting hit here for some maybe some short term traders, and then just bounce back to the developing value area low, and just continued selling into into the end of the day, and. Um, 
So we've clearly seen <coughs> rotation from, again, one side of this distribution to the other on the month. And uh, on the quarterly, uh, we was also just see, we, we basically just uh, off the open again was rotated to the developing value area low, and this is where the high time frame sellers uh, became um, active, and uh, we see the sell programs come into the market with, um, with 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 these nice moves to the to downside. So again, um, depending on how we uh, close this this month out, which is the end of this week, I mean we're looking. Uh, for further downside, like I said, I mean, I'm speculating at the minute a uh, possible near-term target of $67 a barrel. Um, it all depends what happens with this meeting this week. I mean, <clears throat> if OPEC come out on uh, on Thursday and potentially say they're going to uh, cut production, um, then maybe we see some positive response from this. But I, like I said yesterday, I, I can't potentially see it happening. But until uh, we see the reaction from the market and we see the news come out, there's uh, there's no point gambling on this. I mean, just take what the market is showing. And at the, mar at the moment, like I said, the path of least resistance is still to the sell side and uh, the trend is still very much intact um, to me. So, I mean, again, just... <laughs> Just continued one time frame in here. We couldn't take out last week's high. I mean, I've been, I, I was, I was basically bidding last week's high from, from the Sunday night open and into the, um, the high that got put in um, on, on the, on the pit session on Monday. I mean, I was just, I was just looking to sell this all day long. I mean, until we break this one time frame in and we see some macro balance coming to the market. Um, like I said, I'm, I'm, I'm a seller still on this market. I mean, especially. Um, recently, I mean, at these higher prices that we've been seeing, I mean, I, I've seen people come in, we've seen buyers um, responsive. I mean, we see this uh, cross of the five hour exponential moving average, and you can clearly see faster time frame buyers trying to buy out of this balance. And um, we keep opening inside day at the lows. I mean, I'll show you this quickly. I mean, we cope, we opened inside day. Uh, on, on Monday, we see responsive buyers. Again, inside day today, responsive buyers. I mean, I've, I've just, like I said, I've just been looking for shorts. So, uh, for the last two days, I'm looking for shorts. And today, um, well, yesterday was a very nice short. I mean, but today was just uh, pretty epic. I mean, uh, we see like a nice 200, uh, a nice 200 cent range, 250 sources, four cent we saw on the pit session um, today. So, um, awesome, awesome day. Um, so yeah, I'm just gonna pretty much leave it at that for the moment. I mean, to me, uh, with, we've we've got more so, more downside on this market. If it happens tomorrow, I don't know. If it happens Thursday, I don't know. If it happens next week, I don't know. But um, I mean, one, two sort of possible scenarios that are going to come into them is so now. I mean, we're going to see um, continued balance at these lows before a break, or we're just going to gap down and. Uh, and again, we've got this uh, Globex low at 73.25, and uh, that's quite an important um, area to watch for the moment. Um, so I'll just leave it at that for the minute, and I'll I will do an update tomorrow after inventories. And uh, again, on Thursday, we've got the OPEC meeting, and obviously it's Thanksgiving um, in America, so it's going to be interesting to see how this all plays out. I mean, I was kind of looking to take Thursday, Friday off for a sort of four-day weekend potential mini sort of vacation, but... Um, We'll have to see see what happens here. Anyway, I'll leave it at that and I will catch you all tomorrow. I hope you traded safe. Take care and goodbye.